All right, so in this very short video, I'm going to be showing you which version of Revit, in fact, which version of um, the software, either Revit or Navisworks, you guys should be using for this course. Um, so for the ones that have already uh, searched online, you would have realized by now that there's a couple of versions actually available on the website. So we're going to go through uh, the process of downloading these uh, versions. So the first step is, of course, you've got to open up a browser. And then in the browser, what you've got to type in is Autodesk Student Software Download. So if you do that and if you click on the first link, it will take you to, to the page where you can download all these available software, Autodesk software. So um, if you don't find Revit, in one of the uh, in, in the list that you see in front of you, just click on see all products. In our case, it's just Revit. Um, in, in, in this instance, for example, we don't have Navisworks, so we can click on all products. And then if you search for um, Navisworks, so Navisworks is available over here. Uh, but in our case, what we actually need, we, we need Revit. So under R, click on Revit. And it will take you to um, this page. Now, I'm already signed in. So if you guys don't have an account, set up an account. Uh, make sure that you use your uni emails to set up your accounts. This way you can get three years of free subscription to the software. And then you can pick your version. So you can notice that there's 2017, 18, 19, and 20. I prefer to use the 2017. Um, it's just because... I'm, I'm more used to it. There's very minor differences between all versions. Um, if you use the 2021, you can still achieve everything that you can do in, in 2017. Um, but they just like to keep updating the software each and every single year, maybe probably adding an extra feature. Uh, but in our case, I would highly recommend that you stick with 2017. Your operating system has to be 64-bit. Uh, that's for Windows. And then the language is English, of course. Um, you're free to select any other language if you like. Um, and so basically, you can then start downloading. So it gives you the ability to download the software up on, on up to two personal devices, which is uh, really cool. So you just click download now, and it will be ready for you to uh, use once the installation process is over. 